Yo, I just thought I would make this improv type of video while while I'm in Colombia right now, telling you about my my experience so far traveling with a bunch of people that it's not like I'm best friends with. They lived in the same house as me. They may be watching this right now. It's just my experience with being inside of a social circle, being inside of a, a group of people you may not know that well, and how to thrive in that. Because there's, if there's one thing I hear over and over and over and over and over again about people who stutter. Be, before I tell you, look at this background. I don't know if it's gonna change the focus. Let me lift it up. It's called the Fl the Flamingo in Santa Marta. And I'm wearing Flamingo shirt shorts. How life is crazy. That sounds such like an old person thing to say. How life is, how life just works out like that. How life, crazy how how life works like that um anyway if there's one thing i hear over and over and over again from people who stutter is like they feel extremely stifled inside of group interactions inside of bantering back and forth and they don't feel like they're being the real them. They're being like a version of them, of themselves. They feel like he wants me to be and she wants me to be and they're constantly shape-shifting into different versions of themselves and never being able to relax into the true them and just be okay with that. And that's the same fucking spot I've been in my entire life. I've been okay, like, even when my stutter was sev was severe, a one-on-one -on -one interaction with someone who I didn't know, that I didn't, I didn't think was a celebrity, was just a normal, a normal person, and they come up to me, and we have things in common. I'm not like, I could handle my own there. I would stutter, I'd feel ashamed, but I wouldn't feel excluded. It was when one more person joined the group and when it became three, four, five people, that's when I just didn't feel like I belonged in this situation at all. And it's very common among people who, who stutter, but we often think it's because our stutter gets more severe and we leave it at fucking that. We leave it at that. Our stutter gets more severe. That's why we feel excluded from the group. That's why we feel we, like we don't belong. No, your stutter gets more severe because of what's going on inside of you, why you're already feeling disconnected from the group, all right? So before I really, really dive into this, a quick little introduction is my name is Chase Gillis and I help people overcome stuttering the authentic way without speech techniques, without fluency devices, without becoming someone you're not. This is becoming the most authentic version of yourself. That, nada, capiche, like that's it. The most authentic version of yourself can handle any situation, all right? And that's what I wanna talk on here is that the, the reason why we feel so disconnected. The reason why we feel like we don't belong in this group and we feel like we can't flow is a couple of reasons. The first one I want to dive first one I want to dive into is because you have not dealt with the unhealthy overvaluation of the value you're giving other people's judgments of you. R replay that because I cannot say that again. You are valuing other people's judgments of you way the fuck too highly. And because of that, what happens? 
is when we value their pe other people's judgments of us so highly and we value ourselves down here it's impossible to be ourselves we're constantly going to try to try to not get judged try to not be looked weird upon among these people and when we're in this state what we feel comfortable with doing with not getting judged is so fucking slim because everything we we do will get us judged everything whether good whether bad we're on this fucking tightrope and when we're on this tightrope and we think we can only walk down this slim path we can only take a certain amount of actions we can only talk about a certain a certain type of a certain type of um, category a certain type of like expression that they're talking that they're talking about and we can only talk a certain way we can only talk perfectly when we're on this tightrope because we don't want to get judged we go so fucking inwards we're so, we get so caught in our heads we're filtering everything that we're saying and because of that guess what happens when we're constantly stressed out about getting judged because if they judge us that means we're a piece of shit because their judgments are so overvalued that it means we're down here and if they don't like us then that's going to sink us down lower exclude us from the group what happens when we're const when we're constantly stressed and forging into different versions of ourselves to please everybody and prove ourselves we are being the most inauthentic versions of ourselves we are not living aligned with our values we are holding and storing and creating so much tension inside of our bodies we are creating tension every time we're living misaligned with their values every time your body says I want to do this. I want to be free. I want to talk about this. I want to stutter and feel okay, but you don't. And you change your actions. You change the way you talk. You change what you talk about. You change what you say. There's tension. Your body wants one thing, but you act a different way. There's tension. There's friction. That's not living aligned. Anytime you're not living aligned, you're going to create so much tension inside of you, which will, the more tension you have inside of you, the more separation you will feel from the group. And the more separation you feel and the more tension you feel, the more you will stutter because stuttering is simply just tension. That's all it fucking is. The less, the least, the less tension you have inside of you, the le less you will stutter. And that's why we stutter more in front of people who we value extremely highly, authority figures, P people that we're holding repressed emotions towards because anytime we're around them the shit we didn't say the shit we didn't feel the shit we didn't express to them once be before is still there and it flares up and we stu and we stutter more and more and more around them it's just tension and what's the cure for this what's the cure for being in a group situation being able to flow being able to feel like you belong is being able to be authentic even when you feel tension inside of you. And you may say, Chase, that is the hardest thing to do. And I, I understand that. I understand you can't just go from being a shapeshifter personality, trying to please and prove and perfect and, pre and, pre and pretend around everybody to not doing that. I understand that there's a system to that. And for me to explain the system of how to remain authentic in situations where you feel tension is exactly how to overcome your stuttering and that would take hours and hours and days to ex to explain i just want you to understand it's not because of your stutter it's not because of your st it's not because of your stutter it's because of your intern your internal shit going on that's making you disconnected that's making you mis live misaligned with who you truly are, creating tension, creating separation, all right? And the last thing I, I wanna say is, once you master that, once you master holding your authenticity in group interactions, you will be able to see who you vibe with and who you don't. My experience is when I'm in a group situation now, I still might be the quiet one, but it's not because of fear. 
it's because I don't want to fucking even talk about the, the, the stupid ass shit everyone else is talking about. But when I am in a group who is on the same vibe as me, who isn't going to talk about bullshit and useless like news and the stupidest shit, then it's like, boom, I'm the true me. But if I wasn't able to develop an authenticity, if I wasn't able to strengthen my core values, then I would be trying to fit myself into group situations that I clearly do not fit in now. And I wouldn't be able to, to appreciate and know when I was in the group situation that I truly vibed with because I still wasn't being my authentic self. But because I'm very clear on what I, what I like, what I don't like, and very clear on my actions, that I'm not going to change my actions based upon the expectations of others. I'm living aligned with my values. That allows me to separate the people that aren't right for my life and include the ones that are. That's called fucking fulfillment. That's called finding your, your tribe. And that's what this is all about, all right? It's all about finding your tribe and learning to hold your authenticity even in times where that's the last thing you wanna do, all right? So if that made sense to you, from a co-working space in Santa Marta, Colombia, I'm about to go catch a boat for a few hours. I'm gonna be so tanned by the end of it. Just thought I'd pop in here and share this with you before we go catch a boat. If this is something that resonated with you, if you feel like you have also struggled with group interactions, with meeting new people, with talking, but you're constantly anxious, you're constantly in your head, you don't feel like you can express the true you, you feel like you're being a version of yourself that is so fucking diluted that you're constantly proving and pleasing and pretending and perfecting to everybody and you wanna fucking let that shit go and you wanna be free, if that resonates with you, I've been in the same boat as you 100% and I've been down the same path. I've been where you are and I've, I've been over that where I'm no longer facing those problems. And I didn't do it through a speech, tech, a speech technique way. I still stutter, but I never feel, dis, I never feel disconnected. I, I never feel like I don't belong. I never feel shame. I never feel embarrassment. I never... I never feel anxiety when I think about my stutter. It's just, it just is. If you want to come to that spot where it doesn't affect your, personal, your personality anymore, then click the closest link down below in the description and you could book a free one-on-one -on -one call with me. Me and you personally will take a deep dive into your situation see what's been stopping you and see if working together would be beneficial for both of us and if you can become my next my next success story wouldn't actually be my next because i'm working with a few people right now but like my my, my next 10 you'd be in my next 10. if you want to be in my next 10 success stories book that free one-on-one -on -one call and see if working together would be a smart idea all right i love you I hope you're doing amazing. I'm gonna go catch that boat.